And what about the background to this movie? Well, Carol Reed was obviously marked out as a very promising talent. Uh, he had made, before the war, uh, uh, the, particularly The Stars Look Down, which had received a lot of attention, but even before that, uh, Graham Greene, in his uh, days as a film reviewer, had centred on his film uh, Laburnum Grove uh, as being a, a more than usually interesting small budget British film. Uh, and this, of course, was to pay dividends when the two of them came together uh, for uh, The Fallen Idol and uh, subsequently The Third Man. But uh, Reed had progressed, uh, he'd made uh, The Young Mr. Pitt and more particularly The Way Ahead during the war and was definitely marked out as uh, a talent uh, to watch. And it was in the time when the rank organisation was attempting to make itself a force of equal uh, uh, importance in the film world to one of the American majors. And so they had uh, David Lean as well as Carol Reed and a number of other uh, really very, very talented filmmakers. Um, and we shall see how uh, well Reed repaid this. But he was so frustrated by the way he was treated by the people at the top of the rank organisation that he determined never to work for them again and immediately transferred to Corder, who was, I think, an important factor in a, bringing him together with uh, Graham Greene uh, and uh, g g giving the, at least the original idea for the third man. So here was the rank organisation uh, ready to spend a lot of money to make British filmmaking a, a prestige operation um, and yet internally frustrating their own purposes. Uh, and so we are grateful to uh, them for financing Odd Man Out, uh, but a pity that uh, they were so self-destructive that Reed wanted to move away and uh, go with another production company.